New tonight, local cities say they are working alongside Border Patrol and nonprofits for a possible influx of migrants believed to be heading here to the valley. Well, it's nothing new for cities, but navigating a massive migrant surge during the pandemic is. Local 23's Iris Karami spoke with city officials about what they're doing now to prepare. We expect us to, uh, to follow the same footprint that we did back then. McAllen City Manager Roy Rodriguez says CBP and Border Patrol are seeing more activity on the border. And they've told us, for example, last week, uh, two out of three days, they apprehended 800 plus people. But this isn't anything new for McAllen because besides the airports... Is that they're finding the nearest bus station to, to send the immigrants to, and that happens to be Brownsville and McAllen. It's the only two really that have city-owned facilities. Uh, with transportation out of the valley. What is new, however, is managing COVID. Rodriguez says they have contacted the governor. We want the testing so that possibly we can test the immigrants before we introduce them to a facility. And we want the vaccine for the, for the volunteers that are having to help transport. According to the nonprofit Good Neighbor Settlement, asylum seekers recently released are staying in hotel rooms because shelters are closed. The city of Brownsville says it is up to the individual to fund it. Uh, that's between the individual, their family, their sponsor, and, and the hotel. Mayor Mendez says the city's role is to ensure a quick and safe transition. Uh, we're coordinating with, with uh, Customs and Border Patrol to try and get um, these individuals to their place of destination as quickly as possible. Mendez reports that hotel occupancy is up, but attributes it to increase in tourism and industry in the city. Putting local first, I'm Iris Kademi.